Hello, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of April the 19th up until April the 26th. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Virgos. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Virgos. Ooh, Virgo, let's see what that message is. Okay, so the Four of Cups here. Now, Virgo, be aware, there is going to be an opportunity this week that's going to call for your attention. However, I am sensing that you might actually be distracted, focused on something else to where you may not see it coming your way, okay? So we're going to get into what exactly this situation is, but someone here is vying for your attention. They want to get your attention. Perhaps you're going to go about it in a little bit of a sneaky way to get your attention, to get you to look at them, to get you to pay attention to them because somebody here does not like to be ignored, okay? All right, what do we have for Virgos this week? Thank you so much, my guides and angels, for providing any guidance and messages that Virgo is here seeking to find this week week. Always remember that energies are fluid. So take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember that this can be for your sun, your moon rising or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my, ch to my channel because it helps me so so much and the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like this for you guys on this platform and if you are interested in the extended reading do check the description box below the link is in the description box down there and you know in the extended reading that's where we dive deeper into the situation into the other person's subconsciousness their deeper thoughts about you their deeper feelings for you their next actions and moves and any other information that wants to come through the reading so check out the link down in the description box below. All right, Virgos, you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Okay, so the six of wands in the reverse. So yeah, Virgo, I do sense that you kind of are trying to separate yourself from not feeling too much this person's vibration, okay? Now, if this person's coming in with some kind of attention or gesture of love, I do sense that you have this kind of innate... Mm, kind of response that is going to kind of make this other person feel a little bit rejected okay so uh let's go ahead and see what exactly is going on here because there is somebody here vying for your attention somebody here does not like to be ignored okay or maybe you have been a little bit silent but this person has an emotional bond with you there is a very beautiful emotional bond however there is still a little bit of toxicity left okay there's still a little bit of an addictive behavior maybe an addictive personality Perhaps some of you guys are dealing with a little bit of a narcissistic personality. Okay, but I do sense here that some of you guys, let's see, are dealing with, I see the sign of Aries. I also see the sign of Pisces, Capricorn. Okay, but somebody here is having sleepless nights. Okay, whether this is you or them, whoever this person is, cannot sleep at night. They're having anxiety, you know, and there's this kind of energy where, you know, some stress or anxiety that you feel or that this person feels is shaping this person response based on certain triggers that that have occurred in the past so you know whatever it is shaping your response it has to do with a trigger something here is triggering you if this person for example you know if you you tend to to if um, if this person tends to kind of do little things that make you feel insecure then you have to really um, Focus on why it is that this person triggers you so much, okay? There's a button that this person keeps on pushing over and over again that keeps tr triggering you, and this has to do with some primitive trauma or anxiety that or memory that you feel that is connected to something that has happened in the past, either between you and this person or just in your personal situation or this person. Whoever this person is, remember that energies can indeed be reversed. But let's go ahead and see what the Six of Wands is okay that one just wanted to come out so this person whoever this person is is it kind of has one 
foot in and one foot out, whether this is you or them. If this is you, uh, Virgo, then you have one foot in and one foot out of the situation. You're not fully in and you're not fully out. Even if you are in a connection or not, it's like you're in the middle. You're in between. You're still trying to get more information. You're still trying to analyze this person. You're, short, you're still trying to see their actions or moves, how they act, you know, all that stuff that you are used to analyzing. You're a very good analytical sign. So you're, you're, you kind of know this person like the back of your hand. And so, you know, this, it's kind of interesting because even though you know this person like the back of your hand, Virgo, there are still those moments when certain things that this person does triggers you. It still triggers you. Okay. So you have to pay attention to those triggers because that is a reflection on something that you have to heal within yourself. This is calling for an emotional kind of, um, uh, meeting with yourself. Okay. It, in order to, to bring out the root of the issue and find the solution to this problem. So ask yourself, how is it that you nurture yourself? Okay. How is it that this person nurtures you? What is it that this person tends to do that triggers you, that triggers you in, in such a way? Okay. Because there's one person here who is still not decided. This is still the energy of indecision. You have not made a full decision yet. And so, you know, not making a decision is basically a decision in and of itself. However, what I don't like about indecision in this particular situation is that it's keeping the opportunities that are coming your way away from you, okay? Because you're standing in the middle, one foot in, one foot out. But let's go ahead and see what this devil is here. What is this devil that's still being here represented in the future energies for Virgo? What is this devil here for Virgo? Okay, yeah, so there is this energy where this person does have romantic feelings for you, okay? This person does have love for you. I do sense that if there was a separation or maybe just a misunderstanding, you know, something like that. This time apart from your partner or from the situation, maybe if this is a career venture, if this is a friend, family member, whatever it is, okay? This time apart is kind of necessary. It has been necessary in order for both of you guys to understand what went wrong, how to fix it, and if it can be fixed or not, okay? However, this is telling you here that this person wants to come in, giving you love, giving you attention, expressing their love to you. However, there's still a little bit of lingering devil energy. Now, it doesn't have to be all that bad. It can also be the energy of obsessiveness. This person might have a really strong obsession with you. Perhaps you've been helping them in the past and this person cannot let go of of the help that you've been giving them, okay? Now, there will be momentum here that will be asking for your attention in order to either build or rebuild um, this situation. And in order for you to rebuild or build the situation, you have to release old patterns. You have to release old structures. Okay. And if you change your mind and you don't want this person back in your life, then go ahead and honor that truth, honor your change of mind. If that's what you want to do. And you're like, you know what? I don't think this is for me. I'm not, it's, it's kind of like wearing a new pair of shoes, right? You're so used to wearing the same comfortable pair of shoes. And then you walk into the mall, right? and you see this brand new pair of shoes and you're like, wow, this is a really nice new model of shoes. And so you go ahead, you buy them. And then the next day you try them on, you're wearing them and they don't feel like the, your comfortable shoes, right? So you're walking around in these brand new shoes, right? And so they don't feel as comfortable to you as your old shoes. So you go back and you're like, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to maybe return these shoes or these shoes are not for me. I feel more comfortable in my, in my comfortable shoes. So whatever decision you make, just make sure that that, that, that you're aligned with it and honor that decision. And this is going to help you move forward. Okay. Because standing in the middle, it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help the person and it doesn't help the situation move forward. Okay. Some of you guys also might be dealing with, I also see Taurus here, but we're going to go into the extended reading to see what exactly this person's intentions are towards you. Because again, there's still a little bit of devilish energy here. Now, devilish energy does not have to do with them being a devil. No, it just means means that there might be a little bit of residual um, toxicity or residual 
uh, things that have gone unhealed either between both of you guys or in this person's situation. Now, again, remember that this person might be coming in, you know, with some kind of gesture of love. Maybe they do have passion for you. They do definitely have passion for you because you are being represented here by this person's wish fulfillment. This person feels like you are their be and end all. They do have an emotional attachment to you. Okay. But then there's also this energy where, you know, it's kind of like, um, they only call you sometimes when they feel down or when they need you and then they disappear or this person it's sort of like the type of personality where you try to talk to them about fixing the situation and they explode in your face right they explode and you can't have a conversation with them so someone here is doing that you know and whoever has this explosive nature is being represented here by this obsessive nature as well but there is a brand new beginning on the horizon here the emperor here and the empress here both of you guys have basically you know there is a chance here there is there is um, a chance here for you guys to reconcile and I do sense that there is a chance here for you guys to build on whatever it is that you guys have already set in stone okay because this is asking basically for you to give a relationship a chance it, it can be worked on if you want it to be worked on this could also be related to any other thing maybe a career venture a friendship a family member whatever it is but it's telling you that this can be worked on okay because these are the, the divine counterparts the emperor and the empress both both building an empire together. All right, we're going to go into the extended reading to get more information about this person. But before we do that, let's go ahead and see what my guides and angels have for you this week. What do my guides and angels have for my beautiful Virgo? Creative project. So if this has to do with a creative project, okay, Virgo, you know, I'm going to read this one out to you. This is just confirmation. Your soul longs to express itself, Virgo, in creative ways. We are guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. So if you have an unfulfilled desire, an unfulfilled dream, it's telling you it's time for you to pursue it. Okay. One more guidance and angel message. Wow. Money, prosperity, your finances coming in are coming your way. Okay. So if you've been worried about finances, they're coming in, they're coming your way. Prosperity, money, finances, financial stability is coming your way. This could also represent wedding. It could also represent uh, moving this situation, this, uh, uh, maybe, uh, you know, if it's a, if it's a relationship to something more stable, more grounded, perhaps maybe, uh, going into a committed connection finally. Okay. So here we have Archangel Ariel, uh, Virgo, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into a reality. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. All right, Virgo, this is what I have for you this week. If you are interested in the extended reading, the link is in the description box below. That's where we dive deeper into the situation, into this person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about either deeper feelings, their next action, their next move, what their intentions are, because I really want to know what this devil is still here lingering, okay? So if you want to check out the extended reading, it's in the description box below. The link is down there and follow my new Instagram page at Gina Moon official as I will be posting more on there. I do hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.